hi all so today in this video we are going to see about views okay so first of all uh, if you remember that i if you remember this one expression that we have configured in advanced expressions like we were giving the name of the customer and we were getting the address in return okay so i will give the link in the description as well so you can see that uh, we were getting we were setting the name here and if I click on test we are getting the address of that so for that part what was done only two things were done for that if I combine everything else first of all I was these two tables were used one is customer table this is the this one table and another is the address table so here you can see that in the customer table name of the customer is written phone number created on an address id and this is the address id and with the corresponding to each address id addresses of the customers are given here like city if for example for acme corporation address id is one and in the address table you can see it is city state is va street is this one and jeep is this one so these details are there so for getting the for connecting these two tables what we have done earlier is first of all we enter the name of the customer for example I entered Bednar PLC okay and after that I got the address ID for that it means that I queried in that table okay enter the name anyway and got the address ID how I got it first of all create a query entity okay whatever the filter I did it and from the data and from the address ID I got all the details once I got the address ID so if in this table you will go and if you will search with the help of address ID for example ID is equal to 5 I search it so you will get all the details for 5 similar thing will did with the expression as well I inserted the ID and I got the ID and I got the data and after whatever the data I got I just joined it all the data together and fine we were able to get the result now for the same thing what is happening is we have to go and query in two tables right so instead of that I want to create a view so that I don't have to query in two tables it, the results will be written from a single table only okay so we'll see that like how we can do it and then we will try to query it once again and we'll see like is there any performance increase or not in our queries okay so to create the view let's go here and let's see see here huh. so what we are going to do here some steps are here first of all enter the name for the querying what we were doing enter the name in the customer table okay and second step we were doing like get address id for the same here you can see we have got the address id here in the local variable you can see address id is 10 for the bednar plc third step was with the help of that address id in the address table we queried okay now we will create view okay so we will create the view for that let's write it create to create the view this is very simple you can check online for that so create view okay now after that i have to write the name of the view so this is the name that i am going to use it here okay no need to give any colon apostrophe anything just write the name of the table as it is create view this one and now if we, there is once you have written the name like what should be the name of the view write as okay once we have written the as then we have to write what all the values that you want in a view so view is view is simple like uh, like it will create some uh, tables from uh, like it will combine I have to what do what I have to combine these two tables together the name and the address so some detail I will take from the uh, customer table and some detail I will take from the addresses table okay so from the customer what I will take let's take like ID will be there obviously ID is very important name I will take phone number I will take okay only three details from this table ID name and phone number from this table I will combine and from the address table apart from ID everything I will combine okay so let's combine now select 
सो सेलेक्ट वॉट वी ओ एफ कस्टमर वी ओ एफ कस्टमर जस्ट राइट इट एंड हियर एज वेल डॉट वर्कस इन पी एच पी जस्ट लाइक इन एपी एन डॉट वर्क सो आई डी आई वॉन्ट आफ्टर दैट वी ओ एफ कस्टमर्स डॉट नेम वी वॉन्ट एंड वी ओ एफ कस्टमर्स डॉट आफ्टर नेम आई वॉन्ट देयर फोन नंबर एज वेल थ्री थिंग्स आर इनफ नाउ दिस थिंग्स आर डन नाउ आफ्टर दैट वॉट आई नीड नाउ दिस टेबल इज डन वॉट एवर द टेबल आई हैव कॉलम आई हैव सेलेक्टेड नेम देयर फोन नंबर एंड आई डीज नाउ फॉर दैट एड्रेस वन वॉट आई नीड देयर सिटी स्टेट स्ट्रीट जीप एवरीथिंग आई नीड ओके सो वी यू एफ एड्रेसेस इज देयर डॉट सिटी आई नीड द सिटी वी यू एफ एड्रेसेस डॉट स्टेट इज देयर इट सैट द स्टेट एज वेल नाउ वी यू एफ एड्रेसेस डॉट स्ट्रीट इज देयर नाउ वी यू एफ एड्रेसेस डॉट जिप इज देयर नाउ आई हैव एडेड ऑल द थिंग्स टूगेदर ओके सो आफ्टर दैट आई जस्ट नीड टू राइट फ्रॉम एंड वी यू एफ एड्रेसेस लेट्स राइट इट ओके सो चिल हियर एवरीथिंग इज फाइन now i have to join this table see whenever the term join comes into picture it means that so whenever this join comes into picture there are four kinds of joins okay so first is inner join second is uh, you can say left join okay third thing is right join and fourth is like kind of can say like full join or yeah full join so inner join means when it is used like our current scenario use case supports this inner join only like when we want some columns from first table as well something from the second table as well okay combination of both the columns left join does what right everything from the left table will be there okay on whatever the condition you put it so that will become all the information right join all the data of the right join whatever the matching values that will come full join like complete full on whatever the condition we specify okay so from vof addresses and now we will give it inner now let's write it join inner join and after that we have to write our condition inner join with whom all this data from vof address we have taken so inner join with which table vof customer table okay now we have to let's keep it in this line hmm. now we will write the condition like on so they are joined based on that primary key hours so vof customers okay dot id is equal to vof addresses so both have an id their common id we are sharing it okay so both these id are shared so here our the details of the simple view is ready so we have create view we have written that this is the name of the view and as we have to write the select whatever the tables from both the tables we have selected from customers okay something from the addresses as well from we have written then we have written the inner joins on which table that's and let's click on go so now you can see here it has successfully created so let's collapse the table here and let's open the views so you can see here i have created customer details view and here you can see that customer details view is now coming now all the 24 rows are here you can see the id we have selected the name we have selected phone number we have selected their city state street automatically they are also coming particularly in whatever the order we have selected is there so instead of now querying this two times if i query it only one time then only also i will be able to get the data now the question arises let's just duplicate it here i want to write another query uh, okay so uh, okay so another query entity i have to write it <laughs> query entity right so let me write the entity one so now i have to select the entity but wait where is that entity it is currently in only in database currently it is not in appian 
nothing I have done in the app and only in DB I have done so from where should I select the entity so I have to uh, the data store entity I have to make create a data store first but nothing is here as of now so now what I will do here is let me go and select the data store so here we will write customer okay address so directly I can give the give the address here and then the data store entity okay so here it will be type of the data store entity and here I can just select any data store what I want and here huh, now the entity is not even present here right I have to go back and add it in our tables then only this entity will come here okay so for that first of all I would have to create a data type so now in the data type if you'll go here here only you will find very important information four ways we can create the data type okay from scratch duplicate existing one and we can also create from database table or view right this view term is there generally we used to ignore it but now it is very useful we don't have a database table but we do have a view now data source so data source is JDBC APN and which table so the name of our table was what it is customer details view so let's write it customer details so this is the name of the table let's click on continue and you can see here here a new dialog box has opened and here it is saying like what is the name space and all what is the name if you want to edit you can edit the name as well and here it is giving one message in yellow color like single primary key needed obviously primary key is very important so id is already our primary key so let's make this field a primary key okay fine so all these values are now fine it will also create the data store entity that's fine let's click on create and you can see that and now our our now our cdt is created and you can see all those values now i can go back to my data store okay and i can add that entity currently i can see okay it is already added great and i can just verify it and save and publish is customer details view so now even I can go back to the constant okay and I can create a constant here okay so customer address data store entity let me select the data store entity here and let me select the YS data store here and let's select the entity as this one now I am able to get my entity name as well so once my entity is ready let me just copy it and I can go back to my expression and do the usual thing here okay so cons bang this one let me paste it okay so now my entity is there let's write our query here with the help of a bang query so this is done let's see the paging info okay so let's give the batch size of minus one for now and let's see like are we able to get the data so you can see here we are getting all the data as expected we are getting all the data all the 24 items we are getting it okay and here we don't have to query uh, at all to get the address in the previous query we have we can see that first of all we were setting the name we were getting the id with the help of the id we got all the addresses here okay now uh, i can do the same thing uh, whatever the thing i have done here i can do the same thing there as well and we'll see so name rule input is there let's create a rule input name in this expression as well so name is there it is of type text it's fine and we have to filter it so filter with the help of query filter is there okay and now what is the field uh, field is what field is name operator so which operator we are going to use let's use equal to and value the value should be equal to the rule input name so whatever the name I have given here I can write the name here and let's see test the rule 
so now you can see that I am able to get the same information uh, here as well oh but the data was not like this right the data is like this one so what we can do here is we can uh, do the same thing here as well join array so for that purpose what I will do here is I will create a local variable okay and after creating the local variable in here local bank customer data I will store the customer data here and now I will paste my join array one so it is saying index of local bank address so I can just go and replace the address with customer customer data okay now replace everything so now let me test it once again now you can see okay it's not able to recognize it line number could not find why is customer or it has replaced that <laughs> it has replaced the value here only that's not what we wanted to do that's why it broke so i guess it is why is customer i guess it is not the same it is this one it's not even the correct constant now let me add the correct one fine now let's test it and you can see the data we are getting exactly the same data we are getting exactly the same let's try with some other name like kunova inc is there okay let's paste it in our before query let's test it and you can see 17 millisecond it is taking that time and let's paste it here okay so now you can see it is taking 13 so it is a very simple query uh, not right but the performance is surely getting increased with the help of this uh, you can say view if in actual scenario like data is very huge it is in thousands of data so that time like a uh, view helps a lot in reducing uh, the burden okay and uh, the like the system becomes much faster in getting or in querying the data okay so we have used that so that's the advantage of using the view like a performance is performance okay performance increases a lot with view much better and we don't have to hit the database again and again for the same thing we can create a view so whenever like we are in a situation like we have to create two three tables together uh, we can do it huh. one more limitation is there don't try to add any data no data cannot be added here it is just it is just like uh, the tables are present in the databases and it is just arranging some columns from this table and this table and it is showing the data here so data cannot be inserted in a view it is just to view as the name suggests just to view the tab table that's it okay so I guess it is clear now uh, from the viewpoint okay so that's all for now thank you